hi this is atsi suzy uh thanks for having me on your channel uh i'm 37 years old and i'm a self taught artist stay online to know more about me Uh, at present, I'm an acrylic artist. I like the textures it creates. I'm um, looking into getting uh, into oils and uh, I'm practicing my pen art. Uh, where do I draw my inspiration from? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I was uh, born and brought up in India. So being in UAE now, that's what I miss about India. And that's what you see in my paintings too. Uh, I like to get the nature indoors. Uh, and and I use my art to emote my feelings and express myself. I find art very rejuvenating. Uh, yes, Indian art is uh, a lot different from uh, other art. Mm, every region in India has its own style and pattern of art. Uh, it's also known as the folk art. Uh, other than the folk art, uh, there is another form of traditional art practiced in, by the several tribes in uh, India. Uh, I must say Indian uh, art consists of variety of art forms uh, that includes the painting, uh, sculpture, poetry and uh, uh, textile art. So yes, Indian art is quite different. Uh, I always had an affinity towards uh, colors from a young age. Uh, I think when I was in uh, first grade, I won a second place in a drawing competition. Uh, so that's what kick-started it. 
after that i have been busy in my academics and uh, work uh, i got back uh, again into painting a couple of years back and i have been uh, painting uh, regularly since favorite piece uh, I think I have quite a few uh, uh, the place where we lived was a coastal region so we used to have a lot of trips to the uh, beaches so I have a painting uh, which is a memory um, me playing with my sister on the beach so that's my favorite painting it may not be my best but it's my favorite and uh, there are a few others um, uh, recently i painted a lion lion and uh, people have loved that uh, there's a waves painting so these are my favorites Uh, my least favorite uh, I don't think I have any uh, because every painting has been a, a learning experience I have uh, learned different things from uh, different paintings that, that I have done so it's been a learning curve so I don't have any uh, ones that I don't like Uh, wow that brought a smile on my face uh, I want my art to connect with my audience connect with their emotions uh, I want them to feel uh, uh, relaxed like I do that's what I want to be remembered for Uh, yeah, I do remember my uh, first painting. Uh, it's the one which uh, fetched me the mm. second place when I was quite young. Uh, we had to make a portrait of the freedom fighter. So I had painted uh, Nehru. He was a freedom activist and the first prime minister of India. Uh, it was quite a funny one. but. Hey, it brought me a second place and here I am today. Uh, I have always been uh, inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, I like his style of painting. At present, I don't have anyone in mind with whom I'll collab with, uh, but I'm open for the collaboration uh, with someone who will uh, give me my space to grow and we can grow together. I'm quite uh, active on uh, Insta. Uh, you can find me at uh, artsy underscore Suzy. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, setting up my Facebook page and uh, hopefully a blog. And you'll be hearing about it soon on my Insta. Uh, for the new artists out there, I would like to advise to keep painting because that's the key uh, and not be dejected by the negative comments out there. There's a saying by Edward Hopper, if you could say it in words, there would be, wouldn't be no reason to paint. Uh, so let your emotions flow on your canvas, keep painting, stay positive. 
you'll make it one day